Satan wants to isolate you. Luke 8.27 says, When Jesus stepped ashore, he was met by a demon-possessed man from the town. For a long time this man had not worn clothes or lived in a house, but had lived in the tombs. Isolation is one of the fundamental demonic strategies in existence. The madman of Gadara was isolated in the mountains and in the tombs. He walked and lived in solitude, having no one to talk to. The demons that possessed him ensured that he was isolated in the tombs. It is important for Satan to isolate you if he is going to fully implement his plan against your life. The devil is described as a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. 1 Peter 5.8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Are you a lonely deer? All you have to do is watch a wildlife documentary and you will understand how the devil operates. All the lion wishes for is to get an isolated antelope or a lonely deer. Even pastors, men and women of God, have learnt not to live in isolation. The Bible teaches that we have the mind of Christ. The mind of Christ is not with one particular pastor or group of pastors. All of us together have the mind of Christ. That is why we need each other. 1 Corinthians 2.16 says, Who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Anyone who isolates himself is opening himself up to deceptions and delusions. The highest kind of deception is to think that you do not need anyone. We need one another, and Satan knows that. That is why he tries to keep us from each other. My greatest advances in the ministry have come as a result of coming near different ministers. Interaction with all of God's children has only been a blessing to me. Unfortunately, fighting, bitterness, and pride have fragmented the church into several isolated segments. The American church rarely learns from the African church, and the African church rarely learns from the churches in Europe. The white church rarely learns from the black church, and the Asian church is mostly cut off from the South American church. Our experience has been great with collaborations from different churches. We have received many blessings from the different sections of the church. Have you noticed that the first step to backsliding of church members is staying away from fellowship? The devil can isolate anyone, but it is up to us to allow him to or not. We knew that if they were only to relate with the rest of the churches, their lives and ministries would be changed dramatically. Isolation is a primary demonic strategy that the church must fight. May the Lord unite us into one body. Amen.